the, the Instagram, American Institute for Democracy is a think tank. It was founded uh, in Miami 18 years ago and it's non-partisan, uh, non-political. We do not get uh, money from any government. This is privately funded uh, and what we do is to promote democracy in Latin America. Uh, we, for years, were looking for to do something uh, important uh, for the people of Haiti, uh, to try to uh, raise awareness uh, throughout Latin America and in Washington of the need to uh, help the people of Haiti and stabilize uh, the country. So finally, we were able to convince uh, Ringo Callard uh, to be part of the executive board of uh, the institute. Everybody here is a volunteer. We do not get uh, salaries. We just uh, have a, a staff here and in Latin America. And uh, we use mainly uh, the mainstream media and uh, the social media uh, to disseminate our message. We're partnering we're a partner with uh, Infobuy, which is a, uh, the most read uh, uh, digital paper in the world, uh, based in Latin America, in Spanish. And uh, with Diario Las America too, we also have partnership with the Organization of American States and other entities. So uh, we think that we can bring awareness, that we can bring solutions that we can offer, uh, ways to uh, bring about democracy in Haiti. And, and we have important people that listen to the Institute. And this is what we do, uh, because we believe that words uh, are important. And what does that mean to you today to be part, to be integrated in this organization? I think it's a good honor, because the organization has uh, definitely a way to assist and in a crisis that we are in Haiti. I think the organization could definitely do great goods. As uh, Mayor Regalado said uh, earlier, you have five former presidents of Latin America on the board. You have people who have access to different ways and means in order to get the message across that Haiti needs us help. You have 14 million people living in Haiti and the 14 million people cannot just disappear and they cannot keep on living in the condition that they are living. So eventually you need the help to make sure that the actual government that we have is either a ship up or we have to find new ways for uh, the people to have a way to live. Because right now it's, it's, it's a there is a control. You have nobody controlling your country. This is very sad. So, Mayor, uh, with the five presidents and plus Kion uh, on the board, what will that bring in to, uh, to the tank tank? I think what it brings is knowledge. What it brings is first hand experience. Uh, people that understand their countries. This is what the Institute do. Uh, our General Director for Inter-American Affairs and International Affairs, Beatrice Rangel. She was uh, a minister uh, in Venezuela when Venezuela was democratic. Our Executive Director, he was the Minister of Defense and the Minister of Government in, uh, in Bolivia. Uh, we have Osvaldo Tavo, the former President of Ecuador. These people bring knowledge uh, and they bring respect. And when they talk, uh, when the Institute talk, people listen. And this is all we want. Uh, we want people to listen. We want open doors. Uh, at least let us tell you governments, democratic governments, of course, uh, what do we believe is the right path uh, for Haiti. And this is what we're going to do. 2024 uh, is, is year of several task forces created by the Institute and 
Haiti is one of the most important. So how would you advise about Haiti? Because you are Haitian, so you kind of know a little bit more about it. How would you advise the board? We're going to make sure that we are in communication with the people who are suffering in Haiti. Because they're the one, more than any other ones, knows what needs to be done in Haiti. If you listen to the governor, if you wait for the governor of Haiti, which doesn't exist, nothing will accomplish. It's time that the people of Haiti, when they get up in the morning, they don't ask themselves, am I going to be able to spend the day, or am I going to be dead in a few hours? It's time for the people of Haiti to realize that they don't need to go and wait for a visa to leave the country. It's time for the people of Haiti realize that they have a duty to go and find work and do work. It's time for them to understand that school is very important for the kids. It's important for them to know that if they're driving or they have a way to go and fix the agricultural system of Haiti, they could feed themselves, they could feed their family. It's time for people finally to realize that they are human being, just like they are human being in a way. What else can you, would you be able to, would you want to add? I think that the community, Washington, should get involved. You know, if you say there's nothing we can do about Haiti, uh, that's the worst thing that can happen. Uh, we have here a rainbow of communities who are from countries that are suffering now because of dictatorships and because of chaos created uh, by drugs and, and communism. So my message to the community, get involved. Get involved because uh, your country needs you. This is your new country now, but you cannot be a good American if you are not a good Asian, if you are not a good Cuban, if you are not a good Venezuelan. Uh, you have to love your roots. You have to cherish uh, your roots. And this is why I'm asking uh, the community to get involved. Because we're trying to do something, but ultimately we need your help. I think uh, you have to stop thinking we have a lot of work to do and not just photo opportunities this is the real, the real life this is about people dying with no fault of theirs this is about people who wants to dig 